Well, this weekend is Active Senior Expo at the Hawaii Convention Center. Why, why Vegas Hawaii is just one of the different services that will be available. Joining us this morning are Daryl Kimura, David Sir, and Stephen Tagawa. Thanks for joining us, guys, this early in the morning. So uh, let's uh, talk real quick about uh, the whyhawaiivegas.com. Tell us about that real quick. Well, thanks for having us this morning. And often at our Why Vegas Why seminars, the question always comes up, why are so many Hawaii seniors moving to Las Vegas? And for obvious reasons, it's a lower cost of living, lower cost of housing. <clears throat> There's also some tax advantages as well, but also the health care. Vegas was smart. They had planned for this influx of retirees moving to Nevada. So they focused on better health care, um, increase in health care facilities to keep up with the demand. And lastly, I think it's the familiarity of Hawaii and Vegas, that connection. They've been traveling back and forth to Vegas for years. Um, easy for their friends, family, grandkids to visit. And there's a comfort level of having local restaurants, local services that they can go to and feel like they're just right back in Hawaii. So how exactly are seniors financing their move to Vegas? Uh, it's a very good question. You know, oftentimes our seniors, they own other real estate here in Hawaii. And uh, those that do typically have a good amount of equity in their properties, some of these will choose to either sell the property and use the proceeds from the sale for their purchase. And others will help them with things like either a cash or refinance or a home equity line of credit to pull, pull the funds out of their properties for the purchase. And then finally, there are those who go the traditional route of getting and having a down payment and a mortgage. And these individuals oftentimes don't realize that their social security and pension income can be enough to qualify for their purchase financing. We always want to consult with them to make sure that their housing budget uh, is within their, their means and that they don't get, um, you know, out over the, in over their heads. Those. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, picking up steam and we're doing a lot of business there. Yeah, I lived in Las Vegas uh, for four years when I was in the Air Force, and I've lived in Hawaii here for a decade. So uh, all the places I've been in the world, these are the top two places, with, of course, Hawaii being number one. But tell us uh, the differences between Hawaiian and Vegas retirement communities. Yeah, um, there's a difference. Um, in Hawaii, the retirement communities, the buildings and facilities tend to be more clustered together, uh, whereas in Vegas, where there's about 20 retirement communities, uh, most of them are entire subdivisions. So in Vegas, there's a more, more emphasis on outdoor type of activities. Um, some have their own golf courses, you know, pools at all of them, pickleball. Um, and as well, they have also indoor activities too, right? Uh, sometimes it gets hot in Vegas, so they got like um, lay making, potlucks we weekly, you know, believe it or not. Um, and of course, those that still want to go to the casinos, they have shuttles that go to the casinos too. Yeah, well, it is the Ninth Island, guys. Uh, so will you be at the Expo this weekend? Yeah, so come check us out. On We'll be there Friday, I'm sorry, Saturday and Sunday, um, 8.30 to 4. Free admission. Hope to see you guys. Everybody come on down. All right. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us this morning. Why Vegas Hawaii is just one of the different services featured at this weekend's Active Senior Expo at the Hawaiian Convention Center. It's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, just as he said, and it's free. I love free and open to the public. For more details, log on to our website, khon2.com.